Hey, what's up, Trainiacs? Triathlon Terran here. If, like me, you are looking at using triathlon to make a big lifestyle change, odds are really good that a lot of you are looking to do that as a part of losing weight. Today, we're gonna talk about how intensely you should be working out to promote weight loss as part of our four day weight loss through triathlon program. Stick around for it. So yesterday I talked about a morning drink that I find encourages a good workout while promoting weight loss. Today we're going to talk about the intensity levels of how you should be working out to promote weight loss. Now years ago the thought was that you just do hours and hours and hours of low intensity cardio and that was how you lose weight. Now that's still something that is very prominent and that's what we're going to talk about today that low intensity cardio but it's not nearly as straightforward as that anymore science has helped us out now before we get into the video if you haven't yet gone and downloaded the entire free four day weight loss through triathlon program go to triathlonterran.com forward slash weight loss and you can get a free download with everything that we're going to talk about and a little bit more now let's get into it. Essentially there are three energy systems that we have access to as athletes when we start doing athletic pursuits. The first is the phosphagen system and this is for exercises like boom one to five seconds lifting something really quickly jumping a really quick movement jumping out of the way of a car things that happen that are very unexpected and for this our body uses creatine phosphate. These are maximal, maximal efforts like power lifting movements that we don't use a lot throughout endurance training unless we start getting into strength training which I'll talk about in another video. The second energy system is the anaerobic energy system and this is for exercises upwards of about one to three minutes and for this our body uses glycogen that's basically essentially we're going to dumb it down and just say carbs that are processed and stored in the muscles and the liver very quick and easy access this is things like banging out anywhere from 10 to 12 reps in a weightlifting movement this is doing sprints at the track this is doing sprints on the bike interval sessions, things like that, very high intense movements. These have a really big part to play in weight loss for triathlon, particularly fat loss, but we're not gonna talk about that today. That's gonna be for tomorrow. What we're talking about today is the third energy system and that's the aerobic energy system. And this is for long, steady endurance workouts, the things that we do typically as triathlons. And here's the trick that the aerobic energy system can use oxygen and muscle glycogen for energy, but it also can use fat if we prepare our bodies properly. And because it's the only energy system that can tap into fat, it's very important to include it when we start talking about specifically weight loss and fat loss for endurance athletes, triathletes, really anyone looking to make a change in their lifestyle. Now the body is going to always prefer to use muscle glycogen and glycogen in the liver carbs as a preferred energy source because it's easier to break down. It can break down in a matter of 10 to 15 minutes after taking a gel. So if we start priming our body to burn carbs and burn glycogen that's in the muscles, we're not necessarily going to be burning a lot of fat. So there are a few things that we need to do training wise and diet wise to make sure that our body is in the mode of burning more fat as opposed to glycogen. The first thing you need to do is eat properly. And for that, I talked about the morning drink that I have before low intensity morning workouts yesterday. So I'll link to that video at the end of this video. But workout wise, let's talk about perceived exertion and how intense you should be working out. On a scale of one to 10, zero to four is like, it's walking, it's talking, it's standing up. Five and six are a steady aerobic. Seven and eight is kind of a gray area, like no man's land. Nine and 10 is that anaerobic, that phosphagen system. That's not what we're talking about here today. The intensity that most triathletes most typically work within are five to eight. 
and we're gonna talk about where you should be in there to burn the most amount of fat. Now remember when I said that high intensity uses muscle glycogen? That's a nine and 10, so we're not burning a lot of fat at that really intense levels during the workout. Again, I'll explain tomorrow where it plays in with fat loss. So then it comes down to where in the five, six, seven, eight intensities do we train to burn fat? Well, seven and eight is kind of like a gray area. It's like no man's land. It's not low and aerobic enough using nothing but our cardiovascular system to be accessing fat because it's a little bit too intense for that. But it's also not so intense that we're going to be getting stronger that we're creating a hormonal response that is created at those nines and tens. So just based off of process of elimination, we are looking at long, low, steady, five and six rate of perceived exertion to burn the most amount of fat during a workout. These are your long steady days. These are your low intensity kind of your swims where you're not doing a lot of really top end work. And here's how you do it. When you wake up in the morning, you're already in a fat burning mode. You have a meal in the morning, like what I talked about yesterday, and then you save your lower intensity workouts where you're not looking for absolute threshold efforts, and you do those early in the morning. You're not looking at doing track workouts, you're not doing like really crazy intense seven, eight second efforts, you're not looking at doing like 20, 50s max effort in the pool, you do this, on mornings where you're gonna have a bit of a lighter workout that stays in that five, six, maybe seven and eight range, and that's going to promote fat loss. And that's the traditional way that people think of working out for fat loss. What I'm gonna talk about tomorrow is actually more the newer science, how you pair really intense, those nines and tens workout, and where those play into fat loss. So if you aren't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below if you don't wanna miss that. If you wanna see the entire playlist of this using triathlon to lose weight, click over here. And finally, if you wanna download that free guide that takes you through four days of start to finish, how you incorporate triathlon training with your diet, with strength training, with everything, to lose weight as a triathlete, go to triathlonterran.com forward slash weight loss. I will see you tomorrow.